confidence that this juggernaut could be taking the series 2-0. Howdy, a yee-haw. Let's get this one started. Complexity starting on that T side. It's their map pick. And so, of course, NIP take the luxury of starting on the defense. We'll see if it feels like one in just a moment. They are going to be going for some outside pressure. And Hampus is in a prime position to surprise here. Look Very at them. Interesting leaping. Choice. Oh, my gosh. It's perfect. Only for the first. Oh, excuse me. I just had my dinner. That's all right. It was barbecue. It was quite delicious. I can uh, see if I can grab this one out here. As Twist will grab config. And now we find ourselves in a three on four situation. So they do have tight positioning towards main, but Plopsky's timing on when he trickles on up through secret could be everything. Or this could be everything as Blame spots up. Twist. Oh, poison. Twist. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you put it on your sniper, put him long range, that P250 can do damage. And Rush, he's going to isolate Rez here. Look at um, that. a freebie, a huge gap in the defense from the ninjas. And Rush should be finishing the job here. A bit sketchy from both of them. Two on two. We survival important. He's looking for a survival, oh. and that's going to be a nasty, nasty death to concede. Felt like Rush had the opportunity there. Now stuck between a rock and a hard place. Needs to isolate. Nork's giving him the fight. He will try and hunt him down. He's just playing with the clock now, playing with his food, and that's the Plopsky shot we wanted to see. Double kill from him. Yeah, Plopsky was actually very instrumental Let on that. see that. So... Oh, That's the timing. The wow. That's the gap. Hoo-wee. Good minute, find. Minute, minute. You're going to be frustrated with that one right there. Plopsky was actu actually instrumental in that. The fact that he was able to come up secret and drop the bomb in yard. Then Nork's survivability plastered on top was the round as she wrote it. Chadney, do you think you could cast this round on your own while I finish my sausage? Of course. Okay. All right, all right, all right. You're going to strap yourself in for some sponge play-by-play. -play. Some of the best in the business. And I say that facetiously. Config, though, through the smoke onto Hampus. That's a good opening on this force by from Complexity. They want to bounce back, and they want to bounce back furiously. Picking up where they left off on train, they were looking very, very good. Now they've locked in these... L block smokes. This is going to obscure the vision of the CTs. You can see them all dropping on into play. Rez will be smoking off his backside so that he can focus towards the yard position, but they don't want anything to do with this. They actually want to cross over towards the warehouse and secret positions. So Config, as he creeps on forward, he's in the cusp of the smoke to his advantage. The bomb is still in tow and rotation out by the T red crate, and there has been a two-man CT drop to the lower site. They're actually going on a fact-finding mission. There's nothing coming their direction right now, so the timing, again, will be instrumental through secret. And up the stairs, they trolley. They have to deal with blame standing at the top, so if they continue to push around, that could be everything here as he's just looked away. The timing again. Oh, he's thought better of it. Coming back. Nork now taking down blame. Poison with the scout. He loses his head as well. Rez now poking out from main, and, well, they dealt with this after what was a worrisome start, after what was an opening frag. Config through the smoke. Now it's just Rush in the smoke. 18 seconds left. I think he's very best to be to wait for this to clear, find himself a frag, or go down. Make sure you go down, Rush. Don't let them... Uh, okay, there's a kill. Eight seconds, seven seconds, and they'll finally finish him off. So you want to make sure that you are going down before the time, otherwise there'll be no lost bonus coming on to the next. Hi. Hi. Destroyed that. I want to see the blame reaction because the timing that he looked away would have been uh, frustrating is a one word I would use. Yeah, there it is. He just sat there the whole time. That's like that's how the feeling we all have in Counter Strike yep. is like the Counter Strike ti ah, timing. You know, you've heard everybody say that in your matchmaking or ESEA games. Flexi light pistol upgrade shouldn't be anything. Shouldn't be anything exciting here. And I love this from Rush knifing the door. The Molotov will help. Break her open, give him a little bit of a hidey hole, or a peaky hole. Mm, not too far off for config, but catching a nade in the process. He knows someone's gonna rotate in. It was Hampus and a nice clean pick up here, so. Priority is cleanliness. Don't wanna be losing any of those goodies and forcing those rebuys here. Any death for the NIP boys here will be considered unnecessary. 
Can we get this catering like forever? I mean, what do you mean today when they made they gave us a full? No, bar? no, like they just. I don't think I've had a bad meal with the new caterer. It is banging. Yeah. It's really good food. I really enjoyed that. Well, as he's having a couple of snacks, and it, these fish just keep jumping on his plate. And that's a quick three zero. So now we're into the real game. Everybody can pay attention once more. A reminder of what's coming up. Your debut of another Astralis roster. <laughs> so, <laughs> a chance to see Glaive S Attack playing together for the first time. That'll be a curious one. So Bubsky out, S Attack in. I wonder how many times we'll see them chop and change throughout the season of ESL Pro League Season 12. But as we are here in our second game of the day, we will be strapping on in and seeing if the Ninjas can bounce back after their... Well, wow. dumpster fire that was their map choice. Interesting Molotov that just landed on the top of main there. I don't think that was intentional from the CTs. It may have been. I'll have to get my Sherlock Holmes hat on and have a bit of a gander at that one right there. But for future reference, it's, uh, it's called a deer stalker, I think. A hat? Yeah. Deer stalker? Mm hmm. Oh, never been the hunter. All right. Killed a few flies in my time, though. Blame on the appropriately named Hunt. Ooh, Hampus. He likes this corner, doesn't he? It's where he went That's in the pistol. as well, yeah. The so. flash may not have always guys Hampus' decision-making, and, and Blame will finish him off. Still, Norg to be tested on that ramp. Surely, surely he doesn't get checked. This could oh. be a crazy multi kill. Oh. Norg can't believe it. Quick reactions. Twist spinning. Oh. Finding Bow through the Molotov. Config trying to pick the pieces back up again, and Twist is having none of it. Colossal round from Twist. Three frags on the first buy of complexity here on their map pick. It puts Blame into a dire situation. He doesn't have the bomb under the CT control. Maybe the events could be a nice way to descend into that lower site and attack from beneath. But there's always a sound cue attached. Oh, it took at the time. Yeah, I was I was about to uh, go to the sound cue option, and then you hit the time one. So I can just shut up, I guess. Sorry. Yeah, this is what's happened. I've spent so much time with you. I'm just stealing all the your words now. I'll stop now. But uh, it's usually the other way around. It's true. This conv this conviction. Oh, it's not called conviction, but whatever this the Empress. I think it's called. It's my favorite AK skin. I know you're all wet for the Anubis, but the Anubis is pretty. I think this one's prettier. There are some really nice things that people have created, and that is one of my one of my many favorites as to why Counter Strike is is so has got so much longevity is the fact that these people have created art for the game, and now whenever they boot it up, their art is essentially attainable to everyone that participates. Yeah, now's probably not the time, but I think the fact that Counter Strike being such a an open circuit system, first of all, with the esports side of things, and then being a game where the community can contribute in all different facets, whether it's skins, whether it's maps, yeah. uh, just the level of creativity that you get to see and that people get to put on the world stage within a game they love is it's fantastic and it's not not possible in, in many of the other titles. And I think people quickly forget that. Yeah, it's easy to forget. Grass is always greener. That's an interesting little combination Pop flash for Hampus to be maneuvering around. Doesn't get necessarily get anything other than information that nobody's home outside those smokes. So he can continue to check that and keep the CTs just with their heels dug in. It will come down to the timing on, once again, we keep referring to timing and blame. There it is. This time it favored him, but he doesn't connect the shots. Config has found frags elsewhere though, so that's gonna really change things. They're going for a vent dive. I can't believe this. Who's lower? It's on Hampus, the only man there. And he doesn't care, if only for the first. Rush, finding it. Obo lurking to cut off the rotate, takes his time to steady the aim. Complexity could do this with Deagles, Chad. There's a real chance the Tech 9 from Rush doesn't quite connect enough. Now, both of them are there. Is that the bomb loose on lower? Yeah, it's a problem right oh. now. So blame on this flank right here. They're going to think it's coming through any moment as both the CTs, Nork and Twist, are on the lower side already. None of them Obo. focus towards ramp right now, but they're still hidden. So the more noise that Obo makes, the better. If he can feign that he's two people, this could open the door for blame. Trigger discipline as well, decision making. Yeah, has to be precise. And Wild Spray does manage to convert into Nork. Now a 1v2. Doable. Smoke on blame. 20 seconds to finish this game. Seven frags already for Twist. Can he really win them another round? Essentially, on his own. He had a triple kill in the one before now. Not even considering it. 12 seconds. Oh, that's the Molotov. That could win the round. Twist does burn down to a crisp. And he'll recover an AK for his troubles. That's quite the way to make an announcement of your first round here on Nuke. Good stuff. That was, that was nice. Yeah, that round, it just 
felt like it fell apart very quickly and then almost NIP being able to pull it back together. If he converts that cleanly, poof. Like Oppo just breaking the windows, remaining present. It was enough for the Swedes. These are professional salaried players to get caught out. Rare. Okay, let's dive back Outside in Outside smokes. Now, I wonder if there's going to be any presence behind it. Typically, as we've previously seen, is I think they just missed one of their smokes. Looks like the close divider one isn't there. It's arrived, I think it's out elsewhere in the That That molly must be intentional. We've seen it a couple times now. The molly to they're molotoving on top that of one. main. Oh, yeah. That isn't... That, <laughs> that, that shouldn't be there. But there's, a, there's a Molotov that has been thrown now a couple of times by NIP on top of the main roof. Yeah. What, do you, what, what can you theorize as to the purpose of it? I think maybe it's complexity having... It a, bounces off the roof? I, I'm just trying to remember like the different complexity wall smokes. Mm. So many of them that I like to run, so surely this is intentional by NIP. It's intriguing all the same, and now Poison's going to give us a nice Molotov into the site. Info for Hampus just doesn't quite pass the reaction speed test. They might just limp out squ squeaky door here. Excuse me. Hit my cough button. Well played. This does feel like a, a world for Red to get a multi-kill. And there it is. Filling the feed. Looking fantastic. Trying to claw one back was Rush. And he does manage to get away scar free. A second not on the cards when Rez is hitting Shot. his shots. Damn. Lining oh. them up. Oh, okay, there was a world. <laughs> Hampus with what's one HP gets away. Got the skin of his teeth. Five to one. What? Quite the standard start here on Nuke. Yeah, an immediate response after losing that uh, low buy round in the previous from NIP here. And I remember complexity of the day when we saw them on Nuke. It could have even been back in Cologne when they were playing at Tarawik. There was issues they were having with their, their lurks in Yard. It was easy to know that Blame was always going to be on the other side of the map. So maybe some adjustments needed on their T side of Nuke here because in occasions, it seems like they're being red. The lobby aggression to take back territory. We did speak to Thread at the tail end of last season before we went on the player break. Or before we went on our break. There still That's events after ours, but he was saying that he thinks going forward there might be a shift in the meta on Nuke, especially on the way that the CT side would be played because the Ts can take so much territory with the potent utility, right? The smoke sure. walls are very powerful. The way that they can get control of Yard, get Secret, get Warehouse, flip the script a little bit. And I assume what he was meaning was there'd be a bit more CT aggression, taking other parts of the map that would normally be given up to the Ts especially Lobby, Radio. We're seeing a lot more teams doing the creeps through there with the AWP and a rifle up. But this is going to be a hard top. They're going through the mollies. This is quick. And already favoring the ninjas considerably, throwing bodies at that hut. Blames them well to take one out of the heaven position. And the two versus three. Poison, his partner in crime, was responsible for rap. Good chance on Blame, created by Hampus. And that's the end of that. Confirmed by Rez, who's definitely got off to a... Necessary, but fantastic start. Nine so far next to his name. Twist is doing exactly the same thing from that ramp room area. Six to one already. Similar scenes to what we saw in map number one, but True. the other way around. As teams on their own map choices, they start traditionally on the weaker side. Certainly. I've yet to really see them explore that lower site. We saw that vent dive on the half buys and their outside smokes have been relatively well tested. We are going to see a typical aggressive... Actually, a bit more of an aggressive stance. Hampus fancies it. Flame's normally very thorough here in this position. And Nork overseeing with the AWP might make him think better of a player up close. So this could be down to a timer, but this is what I was mentioning before. Blame and his yard lurks and being on his own. Teams know the tendency now of complexity. They're well aware. Right. And look at Rez in Squeaky Door Room. This is what I'm talking about. Oof. Look at all the space that they're taking. Denied. This is so unusual for the CT side, and this is even more unusual. Hampers forward, off the flash, two kills, blame and poison out of the equation, and still he wants more. What more could you possibly have? Hampers. Oh, great! This is config. Finally, there's something. Rush gets one. That's it. I think that is it. We'll catch one in the smoke. Obo operating with just 15 HP. Fancy tricks with his knife around his thumb. But here comes Rez from behind. And that's seven to one complexity. Yeah, I mean, I remember, I seem to recall, 
and Cologne that it was their nuke that was, as you said, kind of solved a little bit. Yeah. And Flames Lurk was was one part and parcel of where they, they struggle to generate frags. Crater. He's normally such a space maker, right? So if he's struggling to find room, it's harder for him to make the calls and have his teammates capitalize on that space. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Now Rez, honestly, just then walked through a CT smoke into Squeaky Torrent. Like that's how many liberties are being taken on the NIP side, on their CT side. Now, that's unusual, ladies and gentlemen. Nuke CTs, Ooh. you normally sit back, hold the sights. You already have a lot of wiggle room. Feels like they want a bit more. A late outside smokes behind the Deagles. And CT response. It's just Klopsky to oversee it, but he's actually got a gap. He could probably call it clear if he was confident. But at the moment, one of the top performers of Nuke. That's a great flash. Completely nullifies Twist and lets them take some space. Dumping across, starting to descend. Bomb spotted and bomb delivered straight to Twist's front door. Very well. Twist definitely has woken up. Config trying to claw things back into the realms of possibility for complexity and retrieval of the bomb is priority number one. Blame Lurk is doing damage. It's keeping Rez in position. So at least they know where one of the three are. And now that Config spotted up another, that's two. You can get it. Ooh, okay. Can probably go up. Oh, I was going to say heaven here, but not anymore. Rez has dipped back around. So back towards lobby will have to be the port of call into the top site. Two players right now on the lower. Nork. Oh, this is the kill. Yeah, if he has to take the head off Rez. Got a real shot at this one. Surely config plans safe, he does. No need. Two flashes for the contact. Plopsky and Nork working their way back up from secret. Very safe. Not going through the vent. Blame has to do something quite spectacular here. Config is nothing more than a distraction. And Nork just blows his head off. Config, nine HP in a dream. Not going to really realize today as another round is added to the NIP tally. This is quite the spectacular start. However, we've seen been talking about an awful lot. A lot of those strong starts are on always converted as cleanly, especially considering the context of the half and the map. It's amazing how these leads can quickly trickle away, right? And I'm not sure if that's a symptom of the economy or if it's just a symptom of people solving the puzzle. There's probably lots of answers to that one right there. But there is a distinct lack of the uh, the firepower fragging at the moment from complexity. We Indeed. just aren't, we aren't seeing anyone no. really doing anything. What have we got here? Three, nine, twelve. Yeah, not a lot of kills, Alex. No, not at all. So look at him, Rez, you naughty boy, through the Molotov into lobby, and there's Rush dead. It was actually helped out by Nork, as if they needed more aggression, they had it. Config's trying to sprinkle some of his own into the mix. He has got a good deal of space. It will be Twist's responsibility to patch this gap up, and I don't know if he's going to be spot. God, there's a lot of fights happening at once. Nice catch on the first as he jiggles the orb out as well. Blame taking good space here. One of the closest opportunities we've seen from Complexity, and this is just the start. Missed shot from Twist. Another new lease of life for Poison. Oh, Config has to be very considerate of this right now. That's a very cheeky way to find the opening. Up heaven, down the ladder, kills the locker. 4v2 now as Poison does connect on his AWP. Oh, and luckily they thought better of going into the top side. That's where both Rez and Plopsky were, the two individuals with some multi-kill potential of their own. They could have mowed this one down, but the call has come on in and they will make their way to the lower site. Now with the scoreline at eight to one, the bomb yet to go down, you question, should NAP go for this? Well, a quick little skim, a quick little look balancing of the books, you can see that they don't have a whole lot of money to work with. Picking up this AWP, it's one step in the right direction to getting a better buy in the following. Nork will be able to buy an AWP if he needs one, but if they save one, well, they're saving the pennies. You want to be as cost sensitive as possible here in Counter-Strike. The economy Regality. is... Yeah, the economy isn't as big of a part of the game as it used to be, but it's still a very, very massive component into what we could be brought into every single round. And full kits of utility, or basically full kits of utility, is fantastic stuff for Rez and Plopsky to keep as well. Diffuse kits, armor, nades are plenty, an AK and an AWP. Nork has 7.3k, Rez can drop the orb to him, he can drop a couple rifles for his boys, Twist and Hampus, Rez can buy himself. Simple stuff, but that all needs to be communicated. Me saying that, guys, that's what they're saying.
The in-game leader is calling out the drops, saying who gets which guns. It's important details. It's a live signing session of a complexity T. I think he's, I think he was drawing the logo. Ah, that makes more sense. Yeah. Freehand as well. Damn, I thought that was printed on. So nice handiwork. Gonna see. Oh my goodness! Four smokes. There we go. So that's the what the air. molly's for. It's gonna Found leave it. a gap. It's gonna leave a, a gap in these L-frame smokes that they throw quickly from spawn. Ah, you nailed it, Chad. There was an intention, and now look at the execution. Nork. One for one. Space to be made. Space and ground to be covered as well. They may not respect that. Nade would force them to, and that's going to really slow down the push. So is the spray. Controlled as he mows down all three. Body shots galore. Flame the luck. The loose cannon. Recovering a nade, but walking oh. straight into the lair of Twist. He knows he's going to get under the skin of Oof. complexity. Nuke definitely getting a bit shaken. Twist has been great at that ramp rotator, like coming in or either holding yeah. it solo. He's always felt like he's got a couple. Remember the earlier round where he had the Famous and he swings out and he gets three kills as they lose ramp control? Well, here he comes back after Nork's aggression and mops it up. So you need someone who's handy with the uh, with the broom and Twist is doing a really good job of that right now. Nine to two, AK's back out. There's that again. So this is definitely prepared. Won't be throwing that smoke this time. Oh, then they've had to change their approach of smokes, which is actually giving more vision to Hampus. It is a top hit. Yeah, it's aggressive. Rez been so good at the start of this game, and he's tested once again, one for one. Poison so low. Plopsky spray did connect in the smoke, but already the damage is done. Hampus has caught blame elsewhere. It's really on Oboe. Try and relieve some of that pressure. He does tab away at one. They know Hampus spotted in yard. Ooh, that jump nearly lost his life. Walk up the top of heaven. Young Obo. This would be a huge clutch. And they kind of need it. Well, they more than kind of need it. They are kind of walking into his domain. That's just the first and the second. Oh, no way! Obo delivers an ace clutch. The baby face killer pulls complexity back into the realms of reality. Whew, if that doesn't fire the boys on complexity up, what well, will? He is just a turret. Look at this kid. He does not move. He doesn't move the crosshair. One after the other, they come into trade. You're not getting in. You're not getting past Obo. Whoa, Mama Sita, that is something. Jeez. Okay. Wow. Good morning. Good morning, Jason Lake. They just sit in there. He just opens up the PDF of Obo's contract. Like, yep, that's mine. Great. Minimize that. Okay. <laughs> oh, NIP, NIP. Look at the money situation after that. You know, I say they uh, they yell get schlattered. I'm sure Rush would have been piping that one through Teamspeak after that one. They're in the same hotel. I've probably heard it between the floors. Get schlattered. I wish I'd remembered. That. Get schlattered. That's his last name, right? Yeah. All right. Brilliant. I'm sure we'll give you a couple more of those players. Don't I mean, worry I have about no it. doubt in my mind. The fact that they grouped up main, like against most players, that's the right call. Yeah. But Obo was so poised. Hey guys, let's go trade together and not give him 1v1s. Yeah, sure, all right. Brum, brum, brum. That was him spraying, by the way, not a car starting. I realized not my best work. Blame, perhaps, gonna be uh, inspired by the bloodshed from Obo, and he's already descending. Oh, well, Hampus is feeling cheeky here. I'm seeing knives out, not like this. No sound cues. Oh, Poison just looked yeah, away. Yeah, just looked away. And oh. he did. Okay, catches him in the end. Just in the elbow. Sticking out. This is a full investment. It wasn't a pretty one. And now I'm, I can't help but feel that... Is this a premature call save or can I call it now? Well, I think because the weapons are scrappy, they might try and go for it, right? Do you really want to hold on to a scout? A deagle? No, sure. CZ? But I'm looking at Res's M4 and I know that he's got $100 in the bank. Oh, it's about to be on the floor oh. and out of the bank. So NIP, they may as well go for this. plopsy has been able to find one of the M4s. Seeing if they can upgrade for Nork and Twist is, is one of the keys. It feels like Twist just wants to... See if you can find anybody in Yard. He'll be the only individual staying forward to fight. The other two, Plopsky and Nork, will hold on to their upgraded weaponry. And Twist, who has been very, very good at dealing with a lot of these multi-kill pushes, hasn't been dealt with any this round. Oh, he's made a step. They know he's coming. Obo takes him down, and the other two will hold on to their guns deep, 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 deep in the T-spawn side of things. 
hiding in enemy territory. This is a 9-6 half on oh, the back of that clutch. It surely is. Jesus, Oboe. Look what you've done. Look what you've done to the ninjas in pajamas money. Good grief. That's a breakthrough and a half. Those are the, the pivot rounds that we talk about. Yeah. The thing is, if they're able to hold on to this and it, it, it spurs them, you know, it gets them fired up. Not only does it have ramifications in the server to do with the money situation and how NIP are able to buy into rounds, it has a flow on effect to your teammates. It's an emotional effect and one that can carry you through here and bring you back into your map choice. Map number two. Nork needs to do something special with this. So we'll be taking a look. The scout up and over the top has to dip away. Smokes are everywhere. And Plopski's pushed forward with the rifle. So oh. they've got the right players in the right places. Yeah, I love this. I don't know if Conflict's going to be anticipating that little gap. Yeah, caught on the crouch peak. Need more. What have you got for me, Plopski? Walking through the gray screen. It's always a little scary. And Rez upgrades to an M4. Good catch on Rush's vents. Three on three. Yard presence eliminating. More and more of the threat hobo oh. is a real demon today. And only Twist, unfortunately, no armor with that M4, so he really has to be pulling the trigger first on his adversaries in front of him. Well, I think they know where he is, Alex. Or yeah, I think he might be onto uh, something. A pretty good idea. Flames towards the top of the vent. Lame didn't hear anything as Twist did a good job to stay out of the radius. And now as he's tucking in towards main, there could be a chance for him yeah. to win this. They're all isolated. And Poison's got the bomb outside, like, by main, or mini, rather. And, uh... Yeah, this is what I'm talking yeah. about. There's a gap here. Oh, my goodness. If he finds Poison... That's the bomb. Did he see it? They're going to call it. 35 seconds. This would be a terrible round loss. This would be fist through table moment. And he oh, has dear. caught Obo on the hunt. He knows the bomb was yard. Blame has to retrieve it and go for her plant. He can just stay topside. It will have to be topside. Twist can play a ratty angle. He has too. He's tucked himself in. Oh, man. I, Blame's going to be real mad. So mad. So mad. He's got no armor this whole time. And Twist clutches it. A taste. A bite right back. Triple kill. Not the, for the first time. 19 frags. He is pulling NIP. Kicking and screaming through Complexity's map picks first half. Forget about that 9-6. That's off the table. We'll be lucky now if Complexity can get to the 5. Yeah. And there was always this gap. I just had a feeling that there was a window because they were all separated. I know NIP before tried to play as a team. I know that they tried to go in and go for the trade frags and they weren't able to do it. Oh, that says it all. The smile on Rez's face, the oh, frustration poison. for oh, Poison no. and Blame. He's going to feel a little, okay, we need to see if there's any sort of mental reset capable here. Or will NIP, nice catch actually in the meantime. Looks like Blame won his early duel. But Twist, so good here at the ramp room. He fires off his warning shots, drops the molly. It's about delaying here and survival. Some very premium aimers. Oh, trying to break the glass for the illusion of support. It worked, it distracted Rush. Now Nork fills the gap, but Obo, he's hitting his shots and so's Blame. Looks like the two of them have done enough to cause the pain. Five on the cards for complexity, only Rez. And he's locked out of the vents towards the sink. And now in think. This one is all said and done. Config's just sitting on the bomb. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you like that? No, I don't. <laughs> you don't like that? It's the last round. Yeah, man. Just in case. I don't think there is an in case right now, Rez. Good night, sweet prince. That's the end of the first half. 10 to 5. NIP, they are looking hot to trot, and Twist is leading the way. Let's see how this one concludes. We'll be back in the break shortly. Why these boys? 
boy so stupid. stupid. Counting me out now, I'm counting my money. I'm probably gonna cop me a new wrist. Y'all gonna think I'm a nuisance. No sound, no me, who this? Yep, I made some improvements. Me and the gang been bowling. Your shawty gonna think we're the coolest. LSA say we got clips. We bout to make it a movie. I make a hit I can't miss. Damn, the charts might sue me. The way I be stacking my chips. Stack it up. Probably the bank gon' sue me. Watch your man go dumb, go stupid, cause your man's can't fool me. I'm on my country commando. Pulling up with clips, extend That's no game, Nintendo. I don't ever run out of ammo. I'm gon' need me a benzo. No fake friends, no pretend, though. Think I might've found my tempo. Post it up in my tempo. Watch your man go dumb, go stupid. If you're the best, then prove it. Got no words, be quiet, stay moving. I got a bag, won't lose it. Watch your man go dumb, go stupid. If you're the best, then prove it. Got no words, be quiet, stay moving. I got a bag, won't lose it. holding on tightly to the pursuit of a third map up against complexity. It's our second game, fifth day. Self Machine hanging out in the studio with Chad Sponge Burchile. Danny, our wonderful makeup artist today, asked uh, what our gamer names were. She did. She a bit of a giggle at mine. Laughter Machine as well, Chad. That's not the first time. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh well. Let's see. It's complexity of being able to find that mental reset button. It's certainly not out of the realms of possibility, but as Rez's score indicates, they have been leaked. Smoke for Mini. Poison going to be locked out of that one. And it is going to be a lot of bodies crossing fast. Poison's going to call the cross. Good grief, he's going to get overwhelmed. Maybe not. Tapping away. Hobo's found another head as well. Not today. Massacred. Yeah, and there's only one more left. It's all on to Nork. Peppering them down. Good shot on the P250. No Kev. And so this does become an even more insurmountable task. A smoke, a plant, perhaps his best bet. Let's not forget getting that bomb down in round loss does contribute 800 to every member of your squad's second round buy. If Poison gets a little bit aggressive here, that's a kill for Nork, that's for sure. Low HP, 23. Yeah. The bullet from the P250 might be enough. But if he goes to Decon and lo uh, limps the smoke out into the site, he might just be able to stick a plant. Here it goes. Will Obo deny it? He will. Tags him on up and actually drawing players towards him. So this is good by Nork. Like bees to honey. <gasps> oh, <God. laughs> He's sitting in the smoke with his knife out, slashing away. Cheeky, cheeky boy. Well, that's an important round for Complexity to win right here. After that oboe clutch, that sensational play in the first half. Thought maybe it'd be a 9-6. They were battling back. But then Twist, he had a 1v3 of his own on an eco round. So Complexity really needed this one right here to start their CT campaign. A little bit of a grin on his face. And rightfully so, as NIP will be leaving spawn with only the Glocks on their back. And just having a look at some of the sprays they've got here. So, Rush, give us a little flying over cam. We'll talk through some of these. We'll yeah. have a bit of a vote. Let's have a little review. All right, what do we got? Fly us on in. Okay, okay. we've got some nice submissions like the pizza here. plumsky has gone for the avant-garde um, monochromatic approach. Uh, the rainbow spherical um, puppy is also... Yeah, that one's cute. Kinda. 
I kind of like the details I'm getting on that pizza. Like, good grief. Yeah. There's a lot of details there. What? I don't really like the tag. I guess I get it. No, tag. I, don't, I don't like that one. It's like, yeah, I got an ace. Look cool. at me. What's the one? The couple behind them, Rush. What are they looking like, mate? What's going on with this big red, yeah. red blob? Okay, that's Oh, cool. I like that one. That's creative. So they put two sprays oh, together. Oh, I see. To that's a kind that of one. a combination yep. art submission. So it's like a chicken. Yeah, and it's like, pourquoi? Okay, well, uh, what else do we have here? Is there an NIP tag? Nice. Okay, nice so. Nice shot. Nice shot. Eight ball. Oh, Stay looks, with it, Rush. Don't worry about the round. Looks like they're going to go and uh, jump to their deaths. <laughs> well, they're entertaining us, and that's quite nice. So we can thank the ninjas in pajamas for being so colourful. Oh, Alex, artsy. It is quite artsy. That was very artsy. It was artsy, wasn't it? How artsy. See you later. Quickly, dealing with the first two out squeaky. Ideally, the SMGs. Oh, we don't want to be losing anybody here. Yeah, fortunately, Rush picks it up. Pockets into the 600. Ooh, good shot with the Glock, to be fair. Doesn't look like it's going to be translating into much. Just want to make sure that Blaine's weapon doesn't fall into anyone's hands. And Ooh, maybe, yeah, it. okay, good, good, good. Looks like they will hoover that one up. Ten to seven. We've got the new, I don't need a soundboard anymore, Chad. I've changed my mind. You just want me to do them all? Yeah, I I've think done so. the train. I've done my... Best Hoover impression. I don't. I don't think Hoover sounds that at all. Close enough. Yeah. All right. Ooh, the UMP sounds really ugly in slow mo. Exactly. Wow. I didn't know you had such such talents within you. Yeah. I can't sing. I'm terrible at dancing. Um, but I can prance, and I definitely can occasionally make the odd sound effect. So. Okay, it's game time. Serious hat on for a second. Klopski down to 60 on his initial. Investigations outside. Nobody actively contesting that. It is Blaine's responsibility, though. And so you can see he'll be paired up with poison. For your outside yard hold. Different wall of smoke thrown out from the ninjas. One from a peculiar angle. Wonder where Hampus is going. Oh, the timing. Oh, they man. peak at the gap. That was a nice idea. Didn't quite bloom in time. Blaine, Blaine rather, finding one. Obo. Big push, and that's going to leave a big gap. They could descend to the lower site here. Poison can't really contest it with a scout. Config down the vent. He'll okay. be the first port of call or the first individual who'll have to deal with this attack coming through the ramp room. And, oh, he's made it behind the bomb site in time, but the damage with the UMP at range is not great. How's he going to survive this? I don't know what he's supposed to do. It's, it's done enough. It has deterred them back up the ramp room. And Rez loves this. T side just tucking in behind the squeaky box. Blame F. I can't believe he's managed to get that element of surprise, leaving them, letting them have all of that space. It's enough to give them just a little too much and then punish them for it. Great angle held by Rush. Rez, one of the hardest hitters, eliminated that dink. dink, yeah. Exchange of the headshots puts it into a perfect position for Poison. He's been sitting, waiting, and oh! What? What is that? <laughs> Straight into his brain through the hut. Poison. Just raising a couple of eyebrows and raising a couple of decibels for us here in the studio. We've had some great counter strikes Haven't today. We? Nonsense around across the board. Lovely stuff. Lovely, lovely stuff. See this one again. All right, nice mate. the plan. All right, mate. And then uh, see you, Nork. Yeah, this is the camera shot. Thanks for coming. Oh, oh just crumples up in the fetal position after that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Jeez. You definitely don't see that one every day, oh, the really ladies don't. and gentlemen. You really don't. The floor bangs are really minimal in Counter Strike. Oh boy. Bloody hell. Good God. I, I think I was explaining to you the other day, like on 1.6 Nuke, I used to have like a little gimmicky play that I do. You'd plant the bomb in the default spot, and if you got to t uh, tuck down the vent, you'd be able to line yourself up and spam through the floor as they were diffusing. And it's not like a straight up spam, you do it on an angle. Yeah. It was really filthy. I was into all the cheesy gimmicks. Of course, that's half of the fun. Yeah, I loved it. And it, you knew that it didn't infuriate people like dying that way. It's yeah. such, a, such a good way like, to go about things. I mean, when I was com competing, it was like the set nades for the bomb defusal, right? Yes. They were one shot kill him, COD 4 Pro Month. So just these ridiculous, like leaning into a satellite dish and you run and jump and someone's mad. Trigonometry. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You carry the one, don't forget that. Now, nading open the door is not going to be the main play, but it could be a fast top hit with Tech Nines, and it does seem like Rez has got a lot of motivation, a lot of bloodshed. Only one rush deals with the aforementioned rush and dunks Rez oh with my. his underhand nade, landing right at the perfect moment. Now, he also has a flashbang, likely wants to uh, 
Get his teammate set up, and that's a nade that's not quite going to hit the mark there. Just in the corner. Didn't quite calculate it right. And this is a smoke. The one way. This is the one way for the retake. Very cool. Likely going to see that a lot more now. Plopsky baiting around Mini. Surely Poison thinks about this. Surely Ovo. Oh, no. Someone. Oh, Plopsky's going to give him a good go. Now the bomb safely held with his new upgraded weapon. Plopsky does not want to challenge that, but he will. And the jump, he gets the info and then finds the frag. These Swedes are plucky. And there's not really much Blaine can do. He's just going to have to reside himself to save. This was a low by Alex. It was. It was Tech Nine's top site. And that is a magnificent way to convert against the complexity comeback. It's not clearing their corners. And Plopsky playing the trigger discipline right there. <sighs> Absolutely. Good decision making. The retake. So, yeah, that's a, a great round for NIP to steal away. You can see them. They're pushing through the Molotov. Not sure if it was meant to be that shallow or if it was misthrown. But regardless... It did enough damage, and they were able to deal with it in the initial stages, but it's this multi-kill right here from Plopsky with the scavenged UMP on the back of, I believe it was Config on the top side, it was more than enough to convert the round here for the ninjas in pajamas. 11 on the board, five away from closing this out and taking us to map number three, which will be Mirage. But let's see if Complexity has something to say about that before we get there. Oh, Hampus into the smoke, and Hobo, he won't even be aware of this. There is a massive gap that's just been taken, and mm. the in-game leader, look at all the room. Okay, so he's going to quietly mantle up. We saw what Config got up to on the first half of this map. Oh, Config knows. He's aware. Speak to the devil. He is ready and waiting. Interesting to see how Hampus is so happy to pause here because he has got, and he's right to do so because Blame confirms it though. Config was concerned about it. Now Blame's putting down the suppressing. Oh, Blame. Oh, that's a nightmare. But Rush has got a colossal double. Hampus so low he could barely contribute. It should be Config's frag. And the bomb going Wait, down. I can't believe he's just planting next to him. Hello and goodbye. They'll take the ninth straight out of the gate after the... Fantastic conversion of a half by Tech Nine top site. They'll be once again thrust into economical turmoil. It's going to be frustrating for Hampus, right? Because he, he does all that work, he gets all that space, and he's like, okay, now we're set up. Now it's my chance to swing out from heaven and kill everybody while you guys do the misdirection. But blame on that timing, finding him out. Rush is holding the frag, but he was still able to give the info, do the damage. And you're right, Rush again with another multi kill. And look at this the pistols are back out. <laughs> Maybe they'll be just as potent as they were before. Maybe you're right. I puts an AK into Plopsky's hands. Don't really envy Poison's position. Conflict's already lower. Has he got a smoke? Mm -hmm. They're going to jump through it. And he's missed the first. Not going to make the same mistake, but Plopsky, Plopsky yeah. He's taking control of this round. They've got two AKs now. And oh! oh, Plopsky's mad. Plopsky, glad. Already, this should be the round. Another missed shot from Poison. He's having a bit of a nightmare. Plopsky's on for the ace. Just furious. He wants to finish this one off. Take us to three. Complexity's map pick, and it's getting slowly, methodically pulled from them. This is just Rush accepting his fate. Having a walk around, see if anybody's lingering, but mostly a question of survival at this point. And Plopsky just wins the round off the back of pistols again. Yeah, Blame's had a nightmare in the last two. For the last, the last round, not being able to convert to Hampus up heaven. Yeah. I know they still won the round, but that's going to be very frustrating. And then this one here, he was the individual who was entried on in Yard. His job was to be there to stop the rush. You're expecting one or two kills from that type of a play. He gets nothing. Not only does he get nothing, unfortunately for him, his team loses the round. They're not able to mop up the mess. And the money situation for Complexity is dire straight. That's just it. Straight to the head. Oh, dear. Damn, that spray, though, into the head. And he gets that so quick as well. Very, very ridiculous pairing of four frags there. There's not much you can say or do about that, actually, really. No, a bit of a smirk there from Plopsky. Yeah, so. he, knew, he knows what he did. Oh, so he knows nasty what he's up business. to. Is the force from Complexity, Ooh, though, Alex? Okay, 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 okay. Hampus. Currently has a bit of a gap where he could find poison on his own here. Down to 43. Should burn him alive if he wants to stick around a credit card. And he is just roaming around. It looks like his death is inevitable. Wow. He still hits the deagle shot. Maybe it's the uh, complexity's turn to make those sidearms sing. We're seeing some fantastic individual ability on display here today. 
They've actually conceded ramp room. In the lower site right now will be Obo, the Robocop. Another one of these mechanically gifted youngsters. Umbig will join him. There is the lurk coming through yard on res, but this will be late. He's been spotted now, so he might actually think better of that. This is Obo's chance. Oh, he's stuck now. He's chipping away at Nork with 5 HP. Finally, Config should go be down going down. He does. And three versus four now. Should just be a safe plant. Not much more the CTs can contribute. Rush wants to, though, with the M4. Making a very clear sound cue as to his location. The other two are coming from ramp right now, so that res lurk is still in play. Remember that 5 HP Orpa still finds his mark. Real trouble for complexity here. They're not going to get back into this round. The next, they only get the $1,900 loss bonus. So Poison has just squandered everything. Wasn't really a lot to hold on to. Can't really blame him. Speaking of blame, wow. Seeing if you can find anything at this point of the game. 13 on the board. 14 looming and seeming very, very likely for NIP. And considering where the money situation is going to be at, 15... Maybe he was a lock as well. Blame has saved the AK. So if we're going to look at any silver linings for the complexity side of things right now, that will be it. He can drop the Deagle across, can keep the AK for himself, but he needs to go beast mode. No, it looks like he does every day in the gym, but uh, we need to see it in the server right now. NIP are uh, really starting to tighten the noose, turn the screws. This is Cole's map pick after all. Swapping back and forth has been more of the story in some of our recent games here in the Pro League. Getting back to regular scripted viewing for everybody. Sure. Nork with the AWP sends off a warning shot in towards main. A couple of CTs towards the top site. Config's being gifted that Deagle from Blame F, and he will just be carrying across that AK-47. You can see his position right now, number six. Damning, letting them know where the AK is, but it's in one of the most pivotal positions to rotate around, help top site, help yard, help ramp. So that misdirection, it doesn't really offer them a lot, and he Ooh. could be set up for a multi-kill here. He has to go huge. Yeah, there's no other option. It has to be more than one. Holds it down for two. And nearly, Rez as well, limping for the rest of this round, down to 19. Descending the low site, Config to hold it. That's the Deagle blame put in his trusty hands. Information perhaps conveyed, there is a low HP player, and Rez, a lot of noise. And that's the frag. God, it was a headshot as well. No slouch on the Deagle is config. Difficult to overcome Plopsky. And now it's only USP. So these three frags, they could struggle to translate this into anything tangible. Rush disagrees though. Picks up the AK. Two picked up. They could double peek this. There should be no way for Plopsky to deal with both of these players. From behind, he gets turned on. Down to 55 and finished off. Complexity will breathe a sigh of relief. Weapon upgrades for three of them. A defuse comes in with plenty of time to spare, and when you do reach double digits, looks like nukes going all the way, Chad. Yeah, Poison getting a free AWP right there is fantastic. This should be good signs for complexity. And I said that Blame needed to go large. Well, he was in charge of this ramp room with a double kill, probably feeling a bit, a little bit hard done by. He didn't get more, but on fig, making life easy, not fluffing that, not making it multiple shots, and that's a huge one to be stealing back here. Damn, you even hit the gym, Jason. You're looking. He's got those forearms of a. Power lifter. Oh, he's a dad. He gets that dad strength immediately. Oh, he just lifts, what lifts is, cars off yeah. babies and once, stuff? Once you get your woman pregnant, you just get these massive arms, apparently. I don't ah, know how it works. How, a mustache. I imagine your and mustache. And a stash, yeah. And then um, you have to start wearing daggy jeans. Daggy. Interesting round ahead of us here, folks. Strap yourselves in. The bomb looked like it was going yard. Rez has thought otherwise now, so Plopsky. Oh, I think he saw a little thigh. But blame not going down this time. He's been having... Pretty rough go of things on that outside yard, certainly on the T side, but they do seem to be finding their footing here, and that's an ambitious one from Poison. He does have the ability to drop off after the first shot, so one, done. We'll give or go that part of the map now. So two players lower right now for complexity, three towards the top site. Config has to deal with Hampus. And Hampus will deal with him. Good initiative from Hampus here. Obo off angle, jiggled out, but well handled again. Find myself saying that a lot when I'm talking about Obo. 
situations you often see mishandled, he often finds the uh, the correct answer. 45 seconds in the tees. You can see how far they are from T Sport. In fact, on the other side of the map, going hunting, Nork gets lost. And with the perfect hold, there is, unfortunately for Rez, very few options available to him. His barrel sticking out, Obo tracing him in, and why is he shot in the head? There it is. <laughs> just a moment. Just, yeah. Rush uh, is just processing. Wait, where did you die from? Oh, sorry, mate. Yeah, all right, we'll get him next time. <laughs> why is he Australian? Uh, everyone's Australian. Yeah, him next time. Get him next time, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Alex, 2,400 as the loss bonus for the side of things of... IP. What are you trying to tell me, Chad? I'm just waiting to see if the loss bonus is correct because it hasn't updated here on my HUD. But um, that's because yeah, I think we're in a timeout. So when it leaves right. freeze time, then it will probably update. So I just want to make sure I'm giving out the right info. But I'll, I'll take a gamble. I'm pretty sure they'll be able to buy uh, because most of the cash around that point was decent. And there it is. So it is a gun round. Three AK-47s, a Galil, a Deagle for Hampus. Should we be putting them in a position to still remain threatening? The money hasn't swelled out of control from complexity because they've really been just holding on to this. It was a 10-5 first half. There's already been three in this second half for NIP to put them up to 13. And Complexity are chasing. They're nipping at the heels there of the ninjas. Mm -mm. This next round is very, very telling. And Hampus has done well to find some initial space. Look at that. Config was not expecting that. Quickly equalized, so perhaps the chaos can calm. But immediately flying out squeaky ahead of the molly. Takes down one of the most fully equipped defenders. There's only four to go. This is good stuff. Back towards Secret Smokes, and they know that Config is the normal rotator towards the lower site in a lot of these occasions. That means they'll probably pull Obo away from ramp. He will have to drop under and respect this unless they just want to gamble. And I think if we take a look at the radar, you can see he is pivoting on back from the ramp position. We'll be dropping under now. Oh, will he be dropping under? Mm -mm. There we go. I knew I was right. But uh, Rush is going to have a lot of work to do on this one now. Four of them, all four of them heading to that top site on contact. Yeah. Catches one. Precise into the second as well. That is colossal. Plopsky and Twist, certainly within the realms of possibility. They can control this. They can. Two versus four. Oboe's rotation doesn't sound so bad now. Twist has just smoked off his teammate. And he's planning for him. They might overlook him again. Well, they get away with this. Blame dunks on Plopsky. So that main plant, a little more redundant now. They like to push together these this squad. It goes from zero to 100. Suddenly, three players are swinging into you. And that was Poison getting the info. Up the vents from Obo. Sound cues everywhere. Can't really pick your, your fight. Or you not poison. isolate them. Or your Poison, given his uh, keeping that AWP in play. So the plant will allow another low buy if NIP want to go for it. They could half invest here. With this amount of money, you're treating yourself, you're going out for like a... What's a food that everybody knows? I'm trying to, I can't even think of like a middle price food restaurant. I was thinking knows. of like a middle, middle, middle of the range restaurant. You know, they're not going, restaurant. Yeah, they're not going out. You're not spending all the pennies, but you're going out, you're having a good time. And they can have a good time with this. Tech Nines. P250's Deagle, bit of utility, nading open squeaky again. We've seen a lot of this. It's the top rush. It worked for them before. Can they make it work again? Looking positive. Rush prepares his aim. Steadies onto the first two, held nicely by Config as well. They fill the feed. And this one over as quickly as it began. Only Rez and a Tech 9 down to 74 and just wandering in what way he could possibly contribute. It does just look like the equalizing 13th here. Complexity, they've managed to really steady the, the ship. It was getting a bit bumpy. Whoop. Good round from Rush, dealing with four players just there. Now, people might be, oh, yeah, but they're only on pistols. Yeah, well, they lost those pistols before. So yeah. they're not the easiest rounds to win whatsoever. 13-13, we're all tied up here. Round 27. I can guarantee you somebody will be taking the lead after this one. Wow. Love it when you make those uh, ambitious calls. Thank you. No warp on the T side for the ninjas. They're just going to be rocking those five AK-47. Smokes are plenty. They might want to go for the secret smokes again. We've seen that work for them a couple of times. Oh, it's a quick ramp. Obo's going to be tested. Uh, yeah, decision making. I like what he's opted for. The smoke, either nah. respect it or walk into me, and I'm going to make it clear I'm ready to put some bullets down range. 
very cognizant of the likely reactions to that smoke, but it does seem, seem like it's deterring them. Obo, you're in a lot of trouble here. But seems to be well handled. Oh! oh, that's a clinical execution. He was slowed by the nade in the flame court in the corner. Obo's going to have to do a lot here if he wants to continue to contribute. Spotted out. Jiggled out. Overwhelmed. He starts to get another before he falls. It keeps him busy. Blame F and Config still contribute. Bomb loose and committed to that low side. Blame is mad as hell. Gets himself his double. And poor Rez lost so much health in that first exchange with Config that the clutch does become all the more difficult. It would be an ace clutch at that. And with the margin for error so low, he really has to be shooting first and precisely for both of these individual duels. If he's allowed to get the bomb down, there's a chance. I feel like he might he have might that might be allowed, though. Granted. That Cole are happy with that, though. I mean, more than often than not. Hang on. He's going searching. If he timed blame here, oh my god. Oh, there's, a, there's a world where he gets this. If he goes vent to top, that's the wrong play. Oh no, oh, Rush is going to be here right in tandem. Yeah, they're going to be practically next to each other. This will be the cue for Rush to get in a position to contest, and yeah, oh, oh, doesn't quite pay off. Hindsight 2020, complexity will take the lead, Chad, just as you're, you foretold. Mm. But the CT wall is certainly looking blue, and it's complexity blue at that. Well, NIP. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine CT rounds, my goodness. NIP have taken a timeout to discuss their options. I'm not sure what their options are. It's only been three rounds. I'm trying to remember how he came about them. One of them was the eco that we were prefacing before with the top rush where Pops get the double. Yes. And before we've seen Hampus actually take a lot of space towards Yard. He got a little bit unlucky in his timing flanking around towards the top of ladder, but they were able to do that and that constricted the complexity CT side defense. Their money is not in a position necessarily where they're going to have a fantastic buy round, but they will be limping on in regardless. So Rez has an AK. Plopsky is an AK. Twist with the same. Nor can Hampus deciding what weaponry they're going to be rocking. It will be a Deagle and a Mac-10, respectively. It's enough utility to go around. Maybe just do the secret wall smokes and have everybody run on down. That's what happened with Plopsky. Remember, they forced straight out yard, took Blame's head off, managed to get into that lower site. Maybe more rinse and repeat of the same of what worked before. And that looks like they're going for exactly that. They really are. And so far... Oh, massive no, gaps in the smokes here. No casualties, but yeah, that does seem like one in itself. Bloody hell, Rez. First bullet that leaves his weapon. It's into the head of the AWPA. They might have to go for some aggression here. They are partnered up already. They might try and deny that lobby hold. It's going to be Hampus given the responsibility of containing lobby push. And with only a Mac-10, it's not a favorable fight by no, any stretch. Config will be calling for help shortly. And I don't know how thorough you can be. I mean, this doesn't really get much more thorough than this. Yeah, I, I don't know if Complexity need to go any more forward than this right now. They called it clearer to an extent. Certainly still aware of, as you can see by Oboe's crosshair, of the possibility of a late arrival. But it's not been out, it's not been a descent. It's actually been an ascent up towards heaven. Oh, Config's going to be here to help out Rush. If he tucks behind the CT vent, you yes. have to clear not only the CT sent, uh, vent, but the bomb box as they swing out heaven. 38 seconds. Clock's ticking on down. It has to be the top finish. There's Oboe, he strikes. And it will be Nork and Rez. Klopski's lower push, still being scouted out on Obo, getting overwhelmed. They can descend now, they want to go lower, but Blame, look at his position. He even throws an incendiary on the bomb, he's played it perfect. They can't even pick it up, Chad. They can't even win the round, even if they wanted to. Throws down the incendiary, the rattiest corner, but a magnificent multi-kill. Played to perfection, Twist just has to sit back and hope he doesn't get found out. It's 15 for complexity, they can 2-0 this. And the ninjas in pajamas who impressed in many a game on the come up. This was Oboe's patience. How long was he waiting for Hampus? You've got to give him credit. That's the call. Thought Oboe was being overwhelmed, but you could see Blame was in a position to ensure there was some trading involved. Another good game from Blame. 23 yeah. kills to his name right now. Obviously had some woes in the earlier stages of the first half, but they've really turned this one around. Just remember the Oboe ace clutch. That was the turnaround. That was it. That was gnarly. That was... Uh, Quite the inspiration for the unit. And now with one round left to find, money not great on the NRP side of things, talking through their options. 
They didn't go for the secret smokes there. It was actually deeper smokes. They dropped down the traditional one to get you across to red box, but they also went for window smokes towards the CT heaven position. And they wanted to take jewels, and they were able to isolate the frag they wanted onto poison. So now we see Hampus onto the MAC-10 again. Four AK-47s, utility one more time. What is the final call? What is the final approach from Threat and Hampus? Needs to be the right one, otherwise it's GG. So it is the secret smokes, but that's just a fake. It's just a ruse. Sound cue. Config is positioned his crosser to try and deal with someone rushing towards the squeaky. Oh, it wasn't broken! Not like that! Twist just ran into a wall and he's evaporated. He repositions. He could even find more. Plopsky added to the plate. It's a disaster from NIP to end it. 16 to 13. We're done. The series.